Alrighty guys, this is Andrew and I'm really, really hyped today because, you know, it is Friday, we got the long weekend, at least in the States with Labor Day, uh, and we have competitive season 2 out early. That's right guys, it was supposed to be out on September 6th, but it looked like Jeff Kaplan and his team, uh, they, they, they kind of released it early, which is absolutely fantastic in my book. Um, I, I think people were complaining that they want it sooner, and you know, they want the new patch with all the new balance changes sooner because, you know, we do have this long weekend. I'm really glad that Blizzard listened and actually rolled this out sooner than expected. I, I didn't think they actually would because Jeff Kaplan specifically said that they couldn't. Uh, but this is great, guys. I'm absolutely blown away. And even if you're not into competitive, you know, keep in mind that there was a pretty big uh, hero balance change, too. Uh, so anyways, uh, on to competitive season 2. Now we have a new ranking, guys. We have a new whole ranking. I'm shooting for uh, Diamond because that is what I got in the PTR. I think I was right at the cusp of it. I think I got like 3,000 some skill rating, which in my book is pretty good. However, I don't know if that's going to happen, guys. I I'm going to be honest, I don't know if that's going to happen because I've played... Let me see, three matches so far, and I've lost two. Not looking good for me at all, guys, uh, especially compounded with the fact that the rating that we got on the PTR were a little inflated. Uh, Jeff Kaplan had basically confirmed that we're probably going to place a little bit lower in live than what we did on, than on the PTR, which kind of sucks, because I like that sexy-ass diamond icon, but it's all right. But yeah, a lot of people were placing higher than they should have, you know, in the placement matches. So on the PTR anyways, back then, uh, back then, it was like three days ago, uh, people were complaining that their losses were hitting them way harder than their wins were gaining. So yeah, I mean, I guess there was some uh, some placement match inflation. So if you placed a little lower on the live server than you did on the PTR, uh, that, that's probably why. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping I get a diamond, guys. I, I would be pretty hyped if I got into diamond. Uh, that's sort of my goal. Ideally, Masters. The Masters would be great, you know. One last thing that I'll mention is a conversion chart. Like, if you're wondering what a Season 1 ranking would compare to a Season 2 ranking, Team Dignitas actually put out this fancy little infographic-looking thing, and, uh... It, it seems pretty accurate, right? Because, you know, the Season 1 rankings and the Season 2 rankings actually divide evenly into each other. All, all you gotta do is multiply Season 1 ranking by 50 to get kind of the equivalent Season 2. And it kind of makes sense because I was placed into Diamond, which was also my... Uh, if, you, if you go off of, this, off of this infographic anyways, is my... Uh, season 1 peak, which was 61, so kind of kind of matches up. Uh, however, to avoid spreading misinformation, I would highly suggest you take this infographic with a grain of salt. Uh, some players are sort of suggesting that this isn't an accurate depiction, you know, it's not a one-to-one -one scale uh, between Season 1 and Season 2. Now, currently, Blizzard has not said anything, at least to my knowledge. If, if they've said something somewhere, please let me know down in the comments so I can kind of make an annotation. But so far, they haven't really made a comment about the conversions between Season 1 and Season 2, like the equivalents. Uh, however, some players are saying that the distribution for Season 2 is going to be a bit more linear in the medium ranks, right? So you ha kind of have a more even spread. Whereas in Season 1, I would say the majority of players were more stuck around the... Uh, the like the 50 the rank 50 mark uh, some below some a little high but most of them around that range uh, now people are saying that the bell curve for season two is a little bit more flat in the middle so you kind of have a more even distribution I don't know if that's actually true guys but you know I just kind of want to present that side of the arguments just in case of you know one day this infographic is totally busted and I, I can say hey I, I said you know take with a grain of salt but yeah, some, some CYA there, so cover your ass, if you will. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments where you guys placed, and uh, yeah. Oh, and one quick thing. I know Eichenwald is out right now, and some people are having trouble to get past the first objective, at least on attack, and you know what's funny? Because I made a video on how to get around the, the first objective, or at least that choke point right before the first objective. Now, I promise you guys, it's not like a basic rundown of that area. It's actually got some pretty advanced stuff in there. Uh, I would highly recommend checking it out. And I'm not saying that because, you know, it's my own video. I'm saying that because there's a whole wave of new players coming in to play Eichenwald for the first time, and they don't know how to get past 
the first objective and they think the map is crap. And, you know, in the research of making that video, I learned a lot about how to get past the first objective, or first choke point, rather. And I can honestly say that, like, I was winning on attack a lot more once I started using those techniques that I figured out in that video. So be sure to check it out. Would highly, highly recommend it. And, uh, yeah, that's that's... That's about it. Anything else? I think that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you around.